know this is your clutch. I know where the clutch is. I, oh, she's sure teaching her how to fry. Yes, but I know where the clutch is. Okay, fine. All right, you do it yourself, okay? Fine. Oh, we're gonna have a flashback. Hey, hey, hey! What are you doing? You can't park here. Uh, I'm just here to pick it's up Sarah's property. Now turn around, get the hell out of here. Aww. Come on. Okay. <sighs> Move it. Yep. Uh, uh, okay, uh, you know what, though? I think I'm just gonna wait right here. You can go back to doing your guard the cornfields thing. This is Officer Moore at the gate. We got an issue here. Hey, listen, asshole. This is a restricted area. I told you, get the hell out of here. Hey, hey, you just wait right there. I told you. Move it. It's like I was mm. trying to say. I'm just here you to pick up... Did you not see that sign? Oh, look at that. That's kind of hard to miss. I'm authorized to use deadly force. Yeah, thank you. Thank you. Oh, he's one of those hey, guys. Hey, whoa, what's going on? <laughs> I'm sorry, Miss Whitaker. It's, it's what, fine. Uh, do you know this asshole? Yeah, he's with me. Huh! He's with me. Sorry, ma'am. I, I on, didn't know go. that. It's fine. Honestly, I apologize. Shh. Don't apologize. Oh, and Jim. Deacon. I'm not with her. She's with me. <laughs> Why do you always do that? Do what? Act like such a dick. Oh, come on. He started it. What are you, five? Look, people are driving. Hey, watch the clutch. Remember, you gotta give it enough gas, rev up the RPMs. I got this. Yeah, I can hear. Where are we headed? Over to the dam. That's a nice, quiet road, right? Are you driving? No. <laughs> are you still going out tonight? You said something might come up. Oh, uh, crap, yeah. Uh, Boozer and the boys want to ride down to Clam Estate, visit Jack. So you're gonna blow me off to go see some guy in prison? Jack's not some guy. I know, I know. I was kidding. Little biker girl. Hell yeah. Okay. Let's see where this goes. I'm very curious. Oh. That's that's familiar. Oh god. Oh my god. <sighs> Jesus. I don't know what it is, but every time I'm on a bike with you, some idiot in a truck tries to run us off the road. Oh my god. No, 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 no. Listen, listen, listen. You did great. You did great. Uh, most people they would have panicked, they would have oversteered, and that would have gotten us killed. I almost did get us killed. I was <sighs> no, no. I wasn't paying attention and I was distracted. Hey, it's okay. It's okay. Just breathe. You're okay. Wait a second. What did, what did you mean, distracted? No, it's just stuff going on at work. It's nothing. I just... Oh. oh. <laughs> okay. Oh. I just thought maybe you uh, saw my new patch. Your what? No. No, Matt? Wait, you, you quit the club? No, I didn't quit the club. I would never quit the club. Uh, uh, nomad. What it means is, uh, um... Well, I'll be less involved from now on. Hmm. Deke, I didn't ask you to do that. Oh, I know. I know. And if you had, I would have said no. <laughs> you ready to try this again? Yeah. I mean, no, but yeah, I will. Okay. <laughs> Thank you for saving my life. <laughs> well, you know, I do what I can. <laughs> hey, hey, the clutch, the clutch. I know what the clutch is. Oh, okay. no, no, the... Deacon. Oh, that's what made him remind. So, what reminded uh, him this? You think your parents are gonna come to the wedding? I don't know. I mean, you know, I th I thought if I step back from the MC that uh. I don't think it's gonna matter to them, Deacon. But you're gonna you're gonna at least tell them. Yeah, if you want me to. Look, it's just I'm not gonna change who I am and who you are to make my uptight middle class parents happy. Okay. Huh? Look out! I see them. Hey, are they are they headed to your work? Oh, shit. Oh, we're gonna see the beginning of the zombie apocalypse? What about the MC? Are any of them coming now that you've got Nomad? Oh, uh, I don't know. Uh, it's 
probably been a while since any of them set foot in a chapel, uh, and you really want 27 Harleys rolling up in that little church in Marion Forks? Yeah. You know what? As a matter of fact, I do. Uh, okay. Oh, let's see what happens. This wood is returning. What's going on? I don't know. Miss Whitaker. Yeah. She's been trying to get a hold of you, says it's urgent. It's always urgent. Let him know I'll be right there. Okay. I gotta go. Hey, hey. <laughs> Sorry. Yeah, make out. There you go. It's fine. It's probably just a fire alarm or something small. Okay. How come dead? <clears throat> Love you. Um, just call me later. Nope, you created the zombie fucking apocalypse. <laughs> Look, Addy, I'm sorry. Whatever. Addy, whatever, Ricky. I'm sorry. God damn. Was clearance. Uh, O'Brien, this is St. John. Come back. O'Brien, this is St. Just answer your goddamn radio! Mm. St. John, didn't think I'd hear from you again. Yeah, neither did I. All right, listen, that night you bugged out. You told me that you didn't take any civilians. You just took uh, Nero personnel, feds, people with clearance. I told you there was Shut up, shut up, shut up. Listen to me. Sarah, my wife, she had clearance. She had her ID badge with her the night that I put her on your chopper. I so don't think that just do me a favor, look it up. Sarah Irene Whitaker. She worked at Cloverdale. She had federal clearance. She was doing, uh, I don't know, research pharmaceutical. I don't know what she, the hell she was okay, doing. Just okay. do me. I'll see what I can find. Okay, great. Hmm. O'Brien, remember, you owe me. Yeah, yeah. O'Brien out. St. John, this is O'Brien. Oh. O'Brien, what do you got? I need to see you in person. <gasps> oh, Jesus, O'Brien, just would you tell me what you found? Is, is she? Victor's calling me. Is she alive or isn't she? I have oh, something I to give you. Like O'Brien, I've transmitted the coordinates. <laughs> <laughs> oh. Oh. Who is, man? Listen, just uh, tell him I'll be back. I gotta. You remember what I told you? Um. The night that Sarah died, Nero, they bugged out. They only took their own people, feds and people who had federal clearance levels. Deke, what the hell are you talking about? Sarah was Nero. Like, it's probably nothing, but there's something I gotta do. Deacon out. We gotta, we gotta do this. I can't, I won't be able to sleep unless game. I do this. Possibly have left to say that I would give it in or This is Radio Free Oregon. Oh shit. The truth shall set you free. The war on terror, global warming, none of that matters now that we're in the shit. But it's all just part of the goddamn conspiracy. So listen up. The war on terror is just smoke and mirrors. Started by good old Uncle Sam. Using war as an excuse to look for weapons of mass on, destruction that didn't exist. And global warming? Just a bunch of lying scientists. Well, in the pockets of those gunning to profit off of all the doom oh. and gloom. When you think about it, all of this, just another way to build unrest in the people. If we're too busy arguing about polar ice caps and genetically altered food and jihad, then we're blind to what's really going on behind the curtain. What's going on? Don't game? be fooled by all their misdirection, folks. They point one way, you look straight at them. This is Mark Copeland for Radio Free Oregon. Don't believe the lies. So your sage advice is to be Is that about it? So. No, that's. that's uh, here there's nothing but murderers and drifters and raiders. Alright. Well, we just saved three people. That's good, right? Deke, hey, when you get time, swing by the camp. I need to talk to you. Hey, Deke. Hey, Ricky. Uh, yeah. Okay, I'll be by. Deke and out. Everyone, everyone wants your attention now, Deke. So. I got this. 
Hang on. You're not gonna make it out here. I know where there's a camp. What? what? Camp? It's a camp? Where? Where? Show me. I'll go. Which camp should I send them to? Once it is. Peaceful Lake. Mark Copeland. It's safe there. Oh man. Thank you. Thank you. I was done for. Holy shit! I was I was a goner, you know? Whew. Thank you so much, man. Yeah, take your friends. Thank Get the you. fuck out of here. Tell them it was Deacon. They'll know. Keep your head down and run. <sighs> yeah, that was well, that was happy. Happy ending. For those guys. I want to know what he's going to get. What could O'Brien have for him? Oh, damn. Am I faster all of a sudden? So what the hell? I'm in it to recruit a few guys who I trust who, like me, aren't happy with what's going on. So why am I here? I wanted to give you this. You were right about your wife. Oh you shit. When Silver Lake evacuated, they took Nero personnel, federal officials, and well, Sarah Irene Whitaker had a class four federal clearance left. Clearance left. The wife bugged out with a recon unit. East of Fort Rock. Take me there. No. No. Well you got a ride. We're all friends now. The base is gone. Ah a year ago. Local militia group. Militia group? Where's their camp? We don't know. How the hell can you not know? You got a helicopter. You got saddle. Somewhere around Crater Lake, but it's a no-fly zone, okay? They got outposts, rockets, RPGs. Crater Lake. Crater Lake. Oh no. Oh, I want to tell you about the work we're doing. Studying the infected, the freaks. They're evolving. As bad as things are right now. They're gonna get worse. They're gonna get worse. Ha <laughs> ha! A lot worse. How much worse could it get? Boozer, Booze man, come back. Yeah, Dean. Hey, listen, listen to me. Uh, a year ago, we were with Iron Mike. We were thinking about riding south, but the Santium Pass was blocked. There was no way through, and he said that he knew another way. Dean, Iron Mike, he's, he's not too happy with us right now. Well, just listen to me, just listen to me. Do you remember what he said? Iron Mike? Yeah, he was, he was bragging about knowing every goat trail in 100 miles. Said so there was a... The trail that went around Mount Thiels, Mount um, Thiels, I don't know, something. Yeah. Thielsen, Thielsen, yeah, that's it. Thielsen, pass. Oh, I missed. There we go, I didn't miss that time. So, uh, what, what were you saying? Yeah, well, why the hell you... Wait, Nero. Shit. You, you've talked to... She's alive? Sarah's alive? Deke? Okay, listen to me. O'Brien, they, uh, Boozer, he found her ID badge. Yeah, Boozer, uh, I, I think that she's alive. Dave, well, you never lost hope. You always knew. Huh. You never gave up. So what are you gonna do? I don't know, Boozer. I don't know, uh, but... Oh my God, if there's even a chance that she's alive, I... Well... I gotta find her. Goddamn right. Uh, this shit, is with I, him. I gotta go. Uh, Ricky and Addy need, need help putting up a shelf or some goddamn thing. Look, I, I'll see you when you get back to camp. Why are they going for the one-armed man to put up a shelf? Okay, okay. See you, booze man. I hear a zombie. Where are you at? Oh, I see you now. Deacon, where are you? Hey, Ricky. Um, I I got some shit I gotta take care of. Are you coming back? Oh, am I coming back? What, what do you What do you mean? Boozer told us. Boozer told you. Okay. Look, 
There's nothing to tell. There's no way over the Sanium Pass, you know that. Yes, yes, I'm coming back. Listen, like I said, I got some shit to do. Deacon out. Someone's at the gate. This is Radio Free Oregon. Oh, hold on. The truth shall set you free. It has come to my attention that some of you are out there working with Nero. The very same Nero we saw cut down a group of survivors not too long ago. The same Nero that abandoned us here in this shit two years past. Hmm. Some would call these people fools. But I got a better name for them. Traitors. And I assure you, I don't take treason lightly. Oh, great. But I am a reasonable man. So you get one warning. Listen up. Stop what you're doing. Now. Before we find you. Because we will. And when we do, you will pay. Everyone. I'll personally string you up on the biggest tree I find. And while you're breathing your last, we'll quarter you and feed you to the freaks you love. That is a promise. This guy has this lost is his Cooper shit. Radio Free Oregon. Don't believe the lies. Yeah, well, Cope, I gotta say, I don't like it any more than you. Do your worst. <laughs> hey, one of the drifters. 